Hi, in today's lesson, you're going to learn to figure out the formula for compounds when you have two elements forming an ionic bond. So here's the first example. It asks you to write the formula for the compound made by these two elements, calcium and bromine. The first step to figuring this out is to use your periodic table to find the oxidation numbers that each element would prefer to have. So we'll start with the calcium. I can find calcium and I count from the nearest noble gas to the element. So going from argon up, this is plus one, plus two. So calcium is a plus two. Then we find bromine, here's bromine. Nearest noble gas is krypton, so we count from krypton to the element, right? That's going down one, so it'd be minus one. The next step is to draw your arrow models pieces for each of these two elements. Since calcium is a plus two, I need to draw a picture that has two points out. One, two. And then for bromine, because it has a charge of minus one, I need to draw a piece with one notch in. One. So, uh, because the atoms have to give the same number of electrons as the ones that take them, we have to ha end up with something that makes a perfect rectangle. And clearly this isn't correct. What we need is we need another bromine atom to complete our rectangle. So, this arrow model represents the compound we would have. You can double check because you know first it makes a perfect rectangle, and also you can verify because the charge must add up to zero. We have plus two, minus one, minus one, which gives you zero. So then to write the formula, we count how many atoms of each kind we have. So I have one calcium atom and two bromine atoms. So for the calcium, I just put CA, it's implied there's only one of them. And then to show there's two bromines, we would put BR with a subscript of two. So the formula would be CABR2. Another way of representing this would be to use a circle model. Uh, since we have one calcium, I make one calcium atom. We have two bromine atoms. So here's a first, here's the second. And then because these are all bonded together into one molecule, I would go ahead and connect them like this. So to sum up, what you need to do is you need to find the oxidation numbers, then draw your puzzle pieces for the arrow model, then figure out how many of each go together to make a perfect rectangle, and then you count the atoms uh, in your arrow model to figure out both the formula and the circle model.